welcome to Gus Tech. I'm here to clean up your PC. Today I want to talk to you, the Gus Tech audience, about your computer. It's probably running slow. It's probably bogged down with programs that you had at one point installed but never used, or you've uninstalled them and they've left artifacts in your system that are slowing down the performance of your machine. And that's not acceptable, okay? Not acceptable. Now, here's the great thing. Microsoft has actually taken a lot of steps to improve the defragmentation of your system just by default. It does it automatically. You don't have to you know, schedule anything. It'll automatically work through it. But at some point, your computer will start to feel like it's bogged down. You are gonna run into issues if you just, you know, run programs and browse the internet. You're gonna run into issues occasionally that you probably wanna clear and maybe get a clean, fresh start to make sure that you don't make the same mistakes you made before. So, this video is with the intent to help you reformat your computer, which basically means start from brand new, totally fresh, clean installations, and we're gonna show you how to do it as quickly and as easily as possible with some tools that are built into Windows 10 and make sure that everything that you need is backed up beforehand. So let's jump right into it and make sure that you, the Gus Tech audience, has the greatest experience that you've ever had in the history of reformatting your hard drive on your computer. Okay, here we go. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do before you reformat your computer, your hard drive to start with a fresh install of Windows is make sure that you back up everything that's important to you. So we started with our Steam library because that's the only thing that's important to us, obviously. No, I'm just kidding. So we have uh, a solid state drive that's running our, um, our computer right here on our local disk C, and that is transferring files right now to our Steam uh, backup that we're running on our Samsung T5, which is a uh, mobile SSD. We have a review on it uh, in the link in the description below. We also have a, a, a quick tutorial on how to back up your Steam library um, in the, uh, the link in the description below as well. So once you do that, um, and you know, basically that's the only real thing you need to back up anymore. Um, you can obviously back up like your documents and pictures and things like that. But here's the thing, guys. In today's day and age, it's 2018, there are so many cheap or even free backup utilities that uh, will save your information to the cloud. The best one, in our opinion, is still OneDrive because you get so much for so little. If you pay for Microsoft Office for $100 a year, it's a renewing subscription, you get one terabyte of cloud storage. And I think right now it's like 1.2 or 1.3. I don't know, they keep adding promotions where it's extremely high. So I personally have all of my documents, all my pictures, all my videos, everything that's important to me backed up to OneDrive. And so when I do a reformat like this, I very rarely need to worry about what's on my physical machine. So that's probably the best option. But if you don't have a cloud backup, make sure you save everything that is in your downloads, documents, pictures, you know, these are the most common areas and they're right here in quick access. And this is simple. You guys should know how to do this by now, but really easy. Go to your documents, highlight whatever it is that you're wanting to back up, literally click copy or open up another window and just go to the drive that you want them to be and drag and drop. It's that easy. It takes almost no time at all to do it. And now you can see these nice little Warcraft 3 files when we reinstall Warcraft 3 are gonna be saved. Oh, wonderful, fantastic, right? It's so fantastical, I love it. So it's simple, guys. It's easy to do this. Make sure you go through the step of backing up the files that are important to you. But obviously, if you are watching this channel, you probably have some level of tech education. You're probably interested in your games. So <clears throat> back up your Steam library, the files specifically, you're gonna wanna back up. And again, we have a video on that in the link in the description. Now, the easiest way to do a reformat on a Windows PC is to click the little Windows button down here and just type in there, reformat, look at that, settings. Reset this PC. Oh my gosh, it's super easy. So we go down there, we select reset this PC and make sure it's on the right window so you're not all confused. And 
right here, you just, it, they've made it about as easy as it can possibly be in your settings. Um, reset this PC, you click get started, it walks you through everything. Um, you can also do an advanced startup if you do have your, your DVD or the USB drive that has um, the Windows files on it. And, uh, oh, look at this. Oh, oh, are you sure you want to copy this without its properties? Oh my gosh. Oh, what is Daybreak? Oh yeah, gosh, what's this happening? Uh, am I confused? Uh, do you want to copy it? Sure, why not? See, you can run into these seven things. Do this for all current items. Yeah, yeah, switch things, do it. Okay, anyway, my bad. Back to the, back to the lab again, here we go. So you're gonna click on reset this PC, click get started. It opens up this nice little window here, which choose an option. You can either keep your files or remove everything. If you're doing a clean install, guys, just remove everything. Um, you, if you do keep my files, it does keep um, your, uh, it does keep your personal files, but, Here's the thing, as if you have a backup on one drive or you have a backup on an external hard drive, click remove everything. That's the easiest way to do it. So we click it, it says this won't take long, and it starts going through the reformat process. Now we're gonna stop that real quick because we are gonna show you what it looks like um, to get that all done, but we have to switch the format here. So give us just a second for some technical snaffalation and we'll get this working for you. So with that slight reconfiguration, here we go. Let's start the process. Um, so again, real simple. I click on the little Windows icon. Let me do it on this monitor so you can see it a little bit easier. Um, and I type in either reset or reformat, doesn't matter, but reset will take you right to reset this PC in system settings. I press enter. Here we go, we're in system settings. It says recovery right here. I'm gonna click get started and I'm gonna remove everything, which you should do as well, because if you backed up everything, you're good. It says, getting things ready, this won't take long. Your PC has more than one drive. <gasps> do you want to remove all the files from all drives? Hell no, we don't want to do that, right? We just want it from the C drive that we are reformatting. So let's go ahead and click only the drive where Windows is installed. Go ahead and click on that. And again, we wanna just, <laughs> just ask us again, Click remove files and clean the drive. Okay, not just remove the files. Um, you can do it either way, but honestly, um, you want to just, especially with an SSD or you know, with, with with modern technology, it's so fast to do the remove files and clean the drive. Um, I, I I think it's worth it because if you have anything that you know might be sensitive or whatever, it's going to get cleared in this in this process. So it says it might take a few hours. Again, that's with a, uh, with an HDD. We're going to do it either way. We go ahead and click on it. Again, it's getting things ready, ready to reset this PC. Here it goes. All personal files and accounts will be removed. All apps, all programs, any changes made to settings. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's gonna happen after the PC restart. Oh no, what's gonna happen? I'm just kidding, it's really easy guys, don't worry. You're gonna get some heartburn. Everyone gets heartburn when they do this. I'm getting heartburn right now. Um, it's no bueno, no fun, but keep in mind, this is gonna make your computer run faster, so let's all be calm, let's all be okay with the results. Anyway, this will take a few minutes, even if you're on a fast SSD and you have a fast rig like we do. So we are gonna use the magic of videos and the internet, specifically the cats that have rainbows, Nyan cats, Nyan? Nyan cats, to speed this process up for you. As you can see, the first thing that's gonna happen is everything's gonna go blank. Um, it's gonna say restarting and go blank like it just did. No, we just went from 13 to 24. That was that was exciting. Time lapse, baby. Here we go. Still time lapsing. I just got out because you know, this is a good time to uh, grab some Chick Fil A, have some food, um, uh, have a drink. Non-alcoholic beverage, of course, a soft drink. We don't recommend anything. Um, you know anything above zero proof, <laughs> you know, because they've had a liquor, you know. Okay, you want know, alcohol in the liquor, as opposed to the liquor in the alky. All right. All right, so the first thing you're going to see when it loads into um, the new install of Windows is hopefully your background's been saved through your, uh, your Microsoft profile. That's kind of neat, I guess. I don't know. But Edge will open up automatically. 
It will say welcome to Windows like it does up here. And uh, this is the best web browser for downloading uh, the web browser that you want to use. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. And uh, type in here, you know, Google and then Chrome, right, in that order. And uh, Microsoft really wants to convince us not to use Google Chrome, and uh, we don't care. So we're going to go ahead and click download now. And download. And not give them anything because we don't like doing that. And we're going to click run and all these great things. And we're going to click run. This is actually really annoying. This smart screen thing will come up constantly. So we're actually going to show you how to fix that um, <clears throat> here in just a second. So see how this comes up? It's annoying. So uh, while this is downloading and installing, uh, go ahead and hit the Windows key, right? Or just click down here and uh, type user account control. Oh, look. There it is. And we're going to click never notify because uh, we're not uh, toddlers. So, oh, look, we have to, it makes us uh, click yes there. Okay, good. <clears throat> anyway, done. Here we go. Now we have Chrome. Oh, fantastic. Uh, we can get rid of Microsoft Edge uh, forever. I'm just kidding. It's going to stay on the computer, but we're going to unpin it because we don't like it. Um, actually, we do like it. It's not that bad of a web browser, but whatever. We're not, we're not having a browser war setting here. Um, you do have to select it as your, uh, as your default browser. It's really easy. Click on this, go here, click on that. Ch not check it out. That's the one that's annoying. Switch anyway. Um, <clears throat> okay. So you have a brand new install of Windows. Um, and what do you do from here, right? The first thing that you're going to want to do is uh, if you don't know what's in your computer specifically, what uh, you know the parts are in it, there's a couple of different resources to identify what's in your computer. <clears throat> Probably the easiest and most lightweight one, um, and it's nice because it is from, um, from Puriform, who is, uh, they're, they're highly reliable for freeware, software, um, Speccy. Now, Speccy's not perfect. Don't leave a comment in the comment section. I know it's not perfect, I don't care, okay? It's a really simple and easy system to use, so we're gonna use it. Um, if you just do a Google search, it'll come right up, click download it. Um, don't buy it, because why would you buy it? And uh, <clears throat> click File Hippo or whatever, it doesn't really matter which one you do. This is annoying, okay? This is not the download, the download's up here. All right, click download. See it starts down here. And we are going to make sure that it does not include CCleaner, because there's no reason for that, we don't need it. Um, I also click customize so I can just make sure that I don't get these stupid updates. <clears throat> and uh, the desktop shortcut, start menu shortcut, sure, why not? Go ahead and install. Here we go. Don't want to care about the release notes, so we'll just click run. Here it goes. Now it's going to analyze what's in our computer. And this will tell you uh, specifically what you have in your system so that you can specifically download the drivers for your motherboard. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We have a pretty nice little system here on Gus Pit. So we're going to go ahead and do this thing. Typically, you can copyright from Specky. That's what we're going to do. If we search for it here in Google, uh, it'll come right up with Asus's website for our motherboard. Great. We go ahead and click on it. And right at the top here, we have support. Now again, this is going to be different for every motherboard out there. Okay, they're going to be you're going to, you're going to have to figure out how to navigate this, but you do want to go directly from the manufacturer's website. If you go with another program to download your drivers, you may run into some issues. So keep it simple. Um, you don't need a BIOS or firmware update because you should have already you know that should already be up to date. Or if it was running previously, just fine. Don't even worry about that. We're going to drivers and tools. We're selecting the OS. And uh, we're going to go ahead and download the audio drivers, the LAN drivers, the USB drivers, the chipset, the SATA, and that's it. That's all that we're going to download on this. Um, you can download the BIOS utilities. I don't really see the reason for it. And if you download the utilities, a lot of times this has the AI suite in here for, for ASUS. Um, it's not really bloatware. I mean, it does give you some additional access to your computer, but we like to use some other programs for our access. So 
Um, this is the, the most lengthy and annoying part of the process, but you just have to download each one of these individually and run the installation. Now it's probably going to ask you for a restart, um, especially if you're running an SSD. You don't need to restart after the installation of every program. You can restart it after every program has installed and then um, you'll be totally fine because the defragmenting and the garbage cleanup on SSDs is so good now that it won't affect, it won't affect your installs. If you are running a standard HDD, a hard drive, a disk hard drive, you will want to restart with each installation and make sure you're only running one installation at a time. That is actually pretty important because that will make sure that nothing gets placed, you know, basically what it looks like on a disk is if you're installing one program, it takes up one part of that disk or that circle, okay? And if you install multiple programs at the same time, they're all getting put into parts of that disk. So it would be like running a record and having four different songs play on the same track. It just doesn't make any sense. So keep it simple for yourself if you're running an HDD and make sure that you, uh, you install them separately and individually. All right, so we're gonna show you just one of the installs here for the drivers, and again, we'll do all of these here separately, but for right now, we'll make this quick and easy. Um, Windows has a, a good extractor, so we're just gonna go ahead and use theirs. Open up the file once you download it from Chrome, click Extract, Extract All. We're gonna go ahead and do it to the desktop because why not? We can delete all the files once they're done. Um, <clears throat> go ahead and hit Extract and let it do its thing. Now, if you chose to um, show the extracted files when complete, it'll show up immediately. These have shown up immediately, and we're just gonna click on ASUS setup right here. And it's still doing the smart screen filter. My goodness, Windows Defender, you're bugging me. We'll have to fix that in a second. But right now, holy crap, just keep, just run. Just leave me alone. All right. And we'll, oh my, yeah. And here's the setup. Again, you'll have to do this for each of the drivers. The main things you're gonna want, audio, LAN, chipset, USB. And if there's additional drivers for SATA, you should get those as well. Um, once you do that, you'll have everything ready to go on your computer and it all should be running as smoothly as possible once all those are installed. Again, we're gonna click no because we have an SSD installed in this machine. Now we're gonna blaze through downloading and installing the rest. It's the same exact process that I just showed you, but real quick, when you do that, now you can see how all these are saved right here on the desktop. I can delete all these. As soon as the drivers are installed, you can delete everything that you extracted to your desktop. So we're gonna select all of it. We're gonna click, we're just gonna hit the delete button. We're done with that, okay? Done, fun, here we go, downloading the rest. We'll see you in a second. Okay, so once we have everything um, installed as far as the drivers are concerned, now your computer should be running uh, you know, the right way. Everything should be functioning the right way. Although. Windows does a pretty good job, so even if you skip that step, it should, everything should for the most part be working just fine. Um, now let's get into what you wanna do after you've initially installed everything on the driver's side and you wanna get your computer set up the right way. So again, we have Specky open, which is nice. Um, this will tell you what kind of graphic card you have, um, although it's it has this weird bug where it won't say the full, um, the, the, the correct amount of memory. It only shows four gigs, even though there's eight gigs in this, but that's okay, who cares? All right, <clears throat> let's go ahead and open up Google Chrome. Um, let's delete this uh, shortcut here from Microsoft Edge, because, oh, baby, that feels good, okay. All right, so the most important thing you could possibly do when you get a new computer, go to Steam Powered. Um, <clears throat> then again, you know, if you want to be, you know, smart, you can use you know, the actual web address, but we don't. Okay, install Steam now, perfect. Set up Steam, okay, perfect. And we walk through the process. This is all pretty easy, guys. It's not really complicated. You should already know how to do this. Um, and the reason I do Steam first is because Steam has such a good installer that I can literally have it installing a bunch of my games on my SSD um, at the same time, and I'm not too worried about uh, you know clogging up the rest of my activities. I'll be doing is set up my computer for an initial use. Um, I'll also go and uh, go to battle.net. <clears throat> you know, these are just the standard things, right? 
Oh gosh, they changed it again. Oh gosh, help me. Downloads. There we go. <clears throat> I'm trying to get down on that. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh, huh. Huh. game installer, Windows. There it is. Okay. No, we just want the want the client. So once you deal with the fact that they continue to change this website, okay, great. Steam is still extracting the package. Again, if you have an SSD, you can do all this at the same time. It's going to defragment and garbage collect. You will not notice a single bit of interruption if you have a modern SSD in your computer. If you have an old HDD, you want to do these one at a time. Yes, it's a lot longer. It's a lot more arduous, um, but you don't want portions of your programs to be saved intermittent with other portions of other programs. All right. And we're off to the races. While all of this is going on, you can obviously, um, you can download Origin, Uplay, Epic's game, Epic Games Launcher. There's a ton of them now, so we're not gonna get into all those. Um, we're gonna make it real simple for you guys. You wanna make sure that you do download Flash. Um, you can literally just type in Flash, it's the first thing, Adobe Flash Player, right? And uh, make sure that you do the installation here. So, my gosh, why does everyone update everything all the time? Um, yeah, <clears throat> Google Chrome does come installed with Flash, but we're also going to actually install Flash as well so that it's on the other platforms. Um, go to the install now. You also probably want like a PDF reader. So if you have like, you know, Adobe PDF, you know, you want to have that Adobe Acrobat, whatever. If you go to the store, the Microsoft store, um, you'll notice we have a couple of games that are automatically installed. Thank you, Microsoft, I guess. Um, it's Candy Crush. Make sure you uninstall that crap. Uninstall. Uninstall Disney Magic Kingdoms. Like, holy crap. This hidden. We would definitely want this game, though. This is the one we want. Just That's kidding. That's my favorite game. That's... Oh, shoot. Well, it's gone forever now. All right, one thing um, you know that we probably don't love about the Microsoft Store is um, it doesn't have like an easy way to get to your previously you know, acquired apps. It's like a real pain in the butt. So you'll have to sign on and go through all that process. But if you know the apps that you've used to the Microsoft Store, just, or just store, excuse me, just go back to them and, and, and download them um, through their installer here on the Microsoft Store. Easy, 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 easy. Everybody's happy, go lucky. Okay, now, you will need to uh, redo your start menu if you've done it like we told you to, which is to remove all files and all settings because settings have been reset, obviously. Um, <clears throat> oh my gosh, we uninstalled you. I thought we uninstalled you. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, another crap. Things. All right. Um, here's my recommendation to everyone. If you don't have an Xbox, don't open the Xbox app. Just get rid of it. Um, it's kind of a pain in the butt, and there is a background uh, uh, recording process that they'll do when you're running games. And if you don't know how to configure it, just don't deal with it. Just leave it alone. Let it die. Okay? Um, all right. We have Steam up and running. <clears throat> now, we have nothing installed in our Steam library. Now, if you've watched our video on the Steam backup, um, you will want to, again, this is my personal preference, I download each of the games individually, and then I have the Steam backup run, uh, or I, I replace all the files with what I have on my Steam backup. And that allows me to have all the saved uh, settings that I had before. Okay, last but certainly not least, if you do have an NVIDIA graphic card, um, you will want to go to NVIDIA's site, and download your drivers. Um, now, you can download just the drivers if you want, or you can use the game, whatever, NVIDIA game something, they, you know, the annoying thing they have, right? Um, <clears throat> now, there's, there's advantages and there's disadvantages to NVIDIA's little system. It can save specific settings for your games, which is nice, but you can also already do that without their game center thing. So, I don't know. I'm not sold on it, but I do use it. So maybe the GeForce experience will eventually grow on me with their game center integration BS they do. Um, but it does, it does allow for some nice you know, uh, game capture and, and settings like that. So we're gonna go ahead and install it and download it and make it easy on ourselves. All right. 
Once you click on that, it's going to run this little, you know, P-Force experience thing. And this is all fairly simple, guys. This process is easy. So um, you basically just click through the prompts and download pretty much everything for your graphic card here. Um, if you want to do overclocking on your, your graphic card, you should only be using Afterburner. Afterburner is the best program for overclocking your graphic card. Um, still to this day, even if your graphic card has something specific, we have a gigabyte card in this computer, you still use Afterburner. It's MSI just makes a better program. And it works with every uh, NVIDIA card uh, all the same. So that's why we love it. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. There's not a whole lot more that you have to do when you are doing a fresh, clean install of Windows. Um, it's it's become a lot more simple than it used to be. And if you have an SSD and a good DSL network or a good you know cable network that you're using, um, it, you can be up and running within a couple hours from from a fresh start. So. That's nice. It's much more quick and, and reliable than it used to be. So we recommend that you do it uh, on, on a pretty regular basis. Uh, we do it about once a year um, and just keeps everything fresh and clean and easy and make sure that you guys have, uh, you know, anything that might be considered bloatware or any cookies that may have gotten in and kind of messed up with your system, any malware that you may have gotten into when you were looking at YouTube videos. Just kidding using those other videos that aren't YouTube videos. We don't know what we're talking about, but you might know, I don't know. Anyway, if you have that stuff on your computer, and most likely you do just through normal use, it's gonna happen. Nothing is 100% secure on a Windows PC. So, with all that said, a reformat is worth it. It's a great idea. As you can see from this video, this whole thing took us to shoot and download and install everything less than, I mean, it was like an hour and a half with the backup. So. It's not that long anymore, it's worth the effort, and it gives you that fresh, clean start to make sure that everything's running the right way. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, as I previously mentioned during the video, there are links in the description for some of the related videos with some components that we shot this video with. Um, you know, the monitors, the, the backup hard drive we used, uh, the Steam backup library, all these cool things. This is a great video to share with somebody that is looking to you, uh, one of the Gus Tech viewers, for tech advice because um, without doing a whole lot of work, you can just say, hey, follow the steps in this video, do a reformat, it'll make your computer run like butter. It's super fantastic. We love you guys. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, commenting, um, all the good things that you do, hitting that little notification bell. That's a huge plus. It's a bonus for us because it actually gives us a little bit more exposure on YouTube, so we appreciate it. Links in the description to different products that we use while shooting this video, as well as the videos that are related to it. And as always, we're Gus Tech. This was fun doing this really boring activity for you guys. We'll see you next time.